Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Brandon here, and today I'm doing my review of Rob Zombie's second Halloween film, Halloween 2, from 2009. And this film, just right off the bat, I just want to say, I think that this film is worse than his first one. Um, it has this really, like, I'm going to get, like, the horse out of the way, just real quick. If you've seen the f if you've seen the film, and by the way, and this is going to be spoilers, so I'm just going to let y'all know there's going to be spoilers in here. I don't know how many. I haven't really thought that far ahead, but we'll see. As far as that goes, I'm probably going to spoil the whole end. So if you just want to not, if you want to go click off this, if you want to watch this movie for some reason, I don't know why you would, but you can. Anyway, first let's start off with if you've seen this film, you know what I'm talking about: the white horse. So this film starts off and it it has like this little like paragraph or like whatever thing like explaining what the white horse is. And it's just it was a really stupid idea. I really don't know why it's it's here other than to give like Rob Zombie's wife screen time screen time. I don't know why else this would be here. I have no clue of uh, the significance like, I, I understand, like, the significance as far as, like, what it says at the beginning, but, like, I have no clue why you would even attempt to do something so stupid. Just, just gonna say it's it's stupid. It's really dumb. Um, and I feel like, like, the kills, I think, are still really good. I will say that the kills are still really good. I still don't think as much blood as it was in these Halloween films as needed. And they, they do get a little bit more into the backstory of Michael Myers, which I just don't care about. There's just, there's so many issues here. Um, I'm just going to go through them all. And, you know, the actors, by the way, again, do a, a fine job. They're not, none of them are particularly terrible. Um, you know, I felt like that way in the first one. None of them are particularly ter terrible. None of them are particularly great either. But they're just, you know, they're just there. I feel like the actors in this film don't matter um, too much. And so this film takes place directly after... Well, okay, the start of it is directly after the 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 first one. Um, or it seems to be, at least. Uh, you know, Lori, uh, she goes to the hospital, kind of like the original Halloween 2. Except for this one isn't entirely taking place in a hospital. The start of it is. And it's revealed at the end of this hospital scene that it was all a dream. And we're actually a year after the, the original, or the, it's not the original, but a year after the, the Halloween 2. <laughs> so dumb. I, I, we're actually a year after, uh, an exact year after the Halloween a 2007 uh, film. And uh, it's... Like... If, if Rob Zombie... Because Rob Zombie had this quote of saying, like, he wanted to do something completely different with the... with the Halloween... with his Halloween 2 than what was done in the original. So why did we spend, like, the first, like, 30 minutes of the film doing a, doing a hospital scene? Um... Because towards the end of that scene, I was just, like, thinking, like... Because I forgot that it was a dream. Because it's been so long since I'd seen the films. Um, I forgot that was, a like, a, a nightmare that Lori was having. If... Like... Like... I'm okay with doing the dream. It's fine. But, like, why did we need to, like, spend 30 minutes on it? Like, you could have just had him, like, kill uh, Lori in the dream a lot quicker. Because there's a one point where Lori dies by Michael Myers' hands in the dream. And I'm just, like... Like, if that was going to be the conclusion of that dream... Then let's just... Let's just cut to the chase and do it, like, real quick. So we can get to the rest of the story. It would just make more sense, logically... It would just logically make more sense if we did like that, like that. Instead, you know, I had to be thinking like, oh, like, how is she going to get out of this one? Because I know she's going to get out of it, right? Most likely, at least. And how she's going to get out of it, she's just, she's just going to wake up from her dream. 
Oh, well. It was just kind of anticlimactic. So, then, um, in this room, we also do get the white horse. So, they show the white horse and Michael Myers' mom pretty quick. And this film then starts off with uh, emo Laurie Strode. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I'm just... <laughs> Why did why did they have to make her emo? I just I want to know what Rob Zombie was thinking here. I don't think it was necessary. But um, you know, then a lot of stuff, a lot of just terrible like like decisions and 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 things that we're trying to do uh happen in the middle, just like you know things that it, for the Halloween like franchise just don't make any sense. And, you know, it, it's, like, it seems like Michael Myers is, like, seeing his mom and the white horse in his head, like, constantly throughout this film. It's really stupid. It's, it's really, like, it's not needed. I don't, under, like, like, other than getting, giving Rob Zombie's wife screen, screen time, I do not see a point in doing this at all. At all. And obviously, you know, we, we... Rob Zombie, right after the uh, shooting of Halloween, um, the the two thousand seven one, uh, had this quote of saying that like he didn't expect to come back to the franchise after that one because he said it was a really difficult shoot. He just didn't really have fun with it, and then he had a, <laughs> and then the rumor was that he had a meeting with a TV uh, with a movie executive, the movie studio executive. Which tells me that they probably just gave him a boatload of money and said, Hey, their first one paid money. Let's do another one. Here's a boatload of money. Here's a truck full of money for you. If you just do the movie. That's all you have to do. To do the it doesn't even have to be good. Just do the movie. <laughs> it and then this one bombed, um, as it should have, because this one is is way worse than the first one. Like when I when when the first one came out, I said, "Hey, if this was not when when I first saw the first one, and when I did my review, I think I said this in my review. If this did not have the Halloween name on it, it would actually be a decent film. But because it has the Halloween name on it, there it's certain expectations come with that, and it it that movie did not meet the expectations of the Halloween name." So, that is where we're at now, where it's like, he didn't want to do this film, but he decides to do it because he probably got paid a bunch of money. He said he didn't want to come back to the franchise, but he probably did it because he didn't want to, because, because he, you know, they, they gave him a bunch of money. And that's fine. Um, I understand why studios do give a lot of money to directors that, you know, don't want to do a project again because, you know... Rob Zombie is a talented guy. He is. He's a talented director. And even though it didn't work, I believe, in my opinion, it didn't work with the first Halloween film. I believe it could have worked if it wasn't had didn't have the Halloween name. So maybe if, you know, you give him another one, another shot. But I just feel like his heart wasn't really into this one that much. You know, there's a thing that happens at the end. And I'll just go ahead and skip to the end. Um, Laurie Strode murders Michael Myers. She kills Michael Myers, and then she's in, like, a mental mental institution at the end of the film, and then she, like, sees Michael's mom, or, or like, I guess their mom, because she is related to Michael, and she is Michael's brother in these films. So she sees their mom and the white horse, and then she just has, like, this evil smile on her face. And that's just, like, it seems like it's, like, setting up for her to be, like, the Michael Myers character in the next film. And so, I don't, I don't mind that, that, that happening at the end of the film. I actually think it was kind of interesting to get into the, her mind. And I think if, you know, again, if, I would have, without the Hall Halloween name, I would have loved that um, as, like, a potential, like, future thing. But, like, no, <laughs> not, not, since it's because it's Laurie Sherwood, I just hate it. I hate it because... It just doesn't make sense with that character. And I... 
I just feel like Michael, I mean, I feel like uh, Rob Zombie. I feel like Rob, you can call him by his first name now, Rob, uh, didn't completely understand this franchise. That th The way that I feel that, um, funny enough, Danny McBride and uh, David Gordon Green understand this franchise. I feel like, I feel like this franchise didn't need to, like, reveal Michael Myers' past or anything like that. I don't need to know any of that. It's just, it's, it's pointless. It's, I just, these movies are kind of infuriating to me. They're just really, really annoying that they exist. Specifically this one. The first one, again, if it wasn't a Halloween film, I would probably enjoy it. But it is a Halloween film, so I don't enjoy it. Because, you know, it's... Because it, it, it just feels like it doesn't... It, it feels like Rob Zombie doesn't understand the character of Michael Myers. Like, he was, like he was born evil. That was the whole setup for the original one. You, you are not supposed to know his backstory. It's more scary if you don't know... If you if you just think like this this little boy was just born as completely evil and 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 messed up and you know in the head, and Michael Myers in this Michael Myers I feel like in the first one um when he when he kills um Michael Myers in this group of in this in these movies the these two you know Rob Zombie movies when he I feel like when he kills, um, when he kills the, uh, the guy who was, like, looking over him, one of the guards at the, uh, the mental institution he was at, I can't think of the real actor's name at the moment, um, but I feel like that was when, the moment when I felt like he was, like, turned completely evil, because it was somebody that had, like, looked after him his whole life and every, and, and, and that was the moment I feel like he turned completely evil. And I don't feel like... I feel like you actually could have, like, made it to where he what, didn't turn completely evil in this franchise. In this, in this two-film set. Because I feel like if you're going to go with the, the aspect of, like, him going crazy because of his, like, childhood him going completely psycho because of his childhood, if you're going to go with that angle, then I feel like the best thing to do with that is to just not make him completely evil, to make him, like, have some redeeming qualities. But instead, they they do go with the, the previous story of, like, now he's a completely evil, you know, you know, man that's just trying to kill everyone. Yeah, it's... So many issues with this film. So many issues with this with this film and the first one, but this one specifically. I guess I guess I did go on tangent about the first one in this one, but you know, whatever. If I'm gonna give this film like a fucking two out of ten, I don't know why I'm giving it that high. I guess because the kills are kind of fun. So I guess one. I'll give you the one out of ten. One sa one sa. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and you can follow me on Twitter in the link in the description below. Peace.